All right, we are going to be looking at our POSA problem. So our POSA problem is if you want to partition a purple rod into equal parts using other rods, how many ways could you do it? So I'm going to start with my whole or my total of my purple Cuisinaire rod, and I'm going to use my other colored rods to decide how I can partition it. So I can see I can't partition it into my brown rod. I'm not going to be able to partition using my black. However, I can partition using my red. I know that two reds can go into one purple rod or one purple rod can be partitioned into two reds. Uh, I'm going to look at my green. I'm not going to be able to equally partition my purple rod into my green rods because I'm not going to have those equal groups. So students are going to start to see that they need to have those equal groups and they're going to start to see that colors that are larger then that purple rod will not be able to be used to partition the purple rod. So that's gonna kind of limit my thinking. I'm gonna try my white rods, and I know that my purple rod can be partitioned into four white rods. I know that because they take up that same amount of space, making them equal. So now that I've determined that I can partition, and we would have the students try all the colors, but for the sake of this, we know that we can use two colors. Now I'm gonna ask students, what operations does my partitioning show? So they're going to be able to see that my purple rod was my total amount. So I have my purple, that's my total, or my whole amount. And then I'm gonna see that that purple rod is broken up into different parts. I'm gonna encourage them and ask them what kind of parts do we have here? And we're gonna see, and it's gonna come out in our conversation, that we have equal parts. So what operations could this show? Well, this could show, for example, if I'm just looking at my red, and the relationship between my purple and my red, I know that a red plus a red equals a purple. I know that a red times two would equal a purple. I know that a purple minus a red would equal a red. And I know that a purple divided by two would equal a red. I can do that same structure for my white rods. So really having them see that operational relationship between these colored rods.